Donald Trump requested the Pentagon put together a military parade months ago after visiting France and witnessing Bastille Day alongside Emmanuel Macron, their newly elected president. It got support and detractors from different sides of the aisle. Many thought it was unnecessary and a waste of money that instead could be used to pay for veterans' benefits or entitlement benefits, while others felt it was a good way to show American dominance and boost morale. But the parade has been moved up. The Daily Mail reported, Donald Trump's plans for a controversial military parade are moving forward, just weeks after the Pentagon announced his procession request. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster ordered the military to set the date for Veterans Day, November 11, a senior official confirmed Friday. The idea for the military parade came after Trump's visit to France where alongside French President Emmanuel Macron he watched the Bastille Day procession that featured military tanks and ranks of soldiers march down Champs-Élysées. Tanks, soldiers, and Air Force service people all contributed to the military display in France. The Veterans Day date was confirmed by a senior U.S. official according to Fox News. The procession is set to run from the White House to Capitol Hill. 2018's Veterans Day marks a timely choice for the parade as it will be the 100-year anniversary of the end of World War I when Macron visited the Capitol two months after the Bastille Day parade. Trump hinted at his plans to emulate the military ceremony. It was a tremendous day, and to a large extent because of what I witnessed, we may do something like that on July 4th in Washington. We're going to have to try to top it, he said. Trump's grand plans, however, do not sit well with several Democrat officials who have dismissed and mocked the parade as a waste of money. California Rep. Jackie Spire said on CNN earlier this month, I was stunned by it, to be quite honest. I mean, we have a Napoleon in the making here, she added she thinks the spectacle will be a waste of money Minnesota Rep. Tim Walls said, who is also the highest-ranking former enlisted soldier serving in Congress, told on MSNBC the parade was the stupidest thing I've ever heard. He added that those serving in the armed forces should not be used to display whatever the president's ego is trying to do. That is a terrible idea, California Rep. Ted Lieu took to Twitter to say that the Capitol would be better off investing the money elsewhere. You know what would be more useful than asking the Pentagon to waste money on a big military parade Lou tweeted after the broadcast, basically anything. He also dubbed the parade a waste of money for one month's ego on CNN. Other politicians were quick to note that Trump's parade may follow the fashion of his inaugural parade, which had noticeably empty sections. Washington Rep. Rick Larson tweeted an image of the low turnout at his inaugural parade saying, there was already a Trump parade in D.C. Not very well attended the first time, would be a waste of Pentagon time and resources the second time. The details of the procession are not yet clear. It also remains unclear if Trump himself will participate in the spectacle as Macron did, riding in an open-top military vehicle, according to Politico. The Washington Examiner has reported, Trump wants the parade to start at the White House and end at the U.S. Capitol, about two miles away. The memo was sent to Secretary of Defense Jim Mattis from McMaster and says the President wants Mattis to brief him on concepts of operation for this event. Trump's budget director, Mick Mulvaney, estimated earlier this month that the parade would cost the federal government between $10 million and $30 million. Trump raised the possibility of the parade to highlight the strength of the U.S. military and show appreciation for the troops, months after he attended the Bastille Day celebration in France with President Emmanuel Macron. Even though some might not want a military parade it is not the first time a president had requested for one. Back in the 1980s and 1990s President George H.W. Bush requested one as well. But it's been almost 30 years since talk of one has emerged which is why many people think President Trump's request is the first when in reality it is not. This is a perfect way to honor veterans for everything that they have done and everything they still do. Especially given the lack of attention they received in the last administration. Veterans deserve this and it is an amazing gift the American taxpayers can provide for them after the freedom veterans have defended for us all while overseas in foreign countries. Share if you agree follow us on Facebook. From the web powered by ZergNet Awkward Olympics wardrobe malfunctions you can't unsee the real reason you don't hear about Leanne Rimes anymore this figure skating move was too provocative for the Olympics the truth about chip gains here's what you didn't know about Megan Kelly Olympic figure skater handles wardrobe malfunction perfectly.